Well, we're back at it again. We're going to start doing the uh, the varnish. I'm going to be using System 3's marine uh, spar urethane, so as opposed to the regular kind. Uh, it should be uh, three coats, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, do some of the under stuff, and we'll come back when I'm doing the top, but I don't want to uh, be distracted talking to you guys when I'm bent over trying to do the underside of this. So we'll come back when I get done finishing the underside and start working on the top side. Got the underside done. I had to use a, a little step stool to stand on and bend over far enough to look up underneath. Now I'm do the tops and the fronts. Just keep looking for uh, runs. I will never say anything about me being any kind of expert on painting or bright finish work. So. Google or search on YouTube for for all the, the tricks on the varnishing. This will be the first coat. And I'm just using disposable brushes. They say to use you know high quality uh, bristle, but I find that the price of mineral spirits anymore is just way more than what I want to uh, and as we said, this is a go boat, not a show boat. I'll do some, uh, I'm going to get the little Milwaukee out with the triangle. I'll do some sanding on the parts here where the, I may get some run down from the, uh, from this spar orange. Hopefully if I can drag it back and forth enough it won't it won't drip on me. And I'll give it another another two coats, it'll be three coats on this, they said it'd be enough, so we'll come back. There's only so much fun you can have watching these videos, so we'll be back. Well I've got the first coat on. Go around and especially with cheap brushes and look for uh, lost hairs, look for uh, drips, especially underneath on the inside where the uh, where your brush goes over the sharp edges on the spacer blocks, it'll just drag out any any uh, material in there, whether it be paint or epoxy or bar varnish and just keep going around uh, while it dries and keep checking for runs so that's my job now we'll come back on another coat or something else I mean it's, you've seen this once and it's going to do two more coats and uh, then uh, we'll work on the interior. I was going to do some sanding, but I didn't want all the sawdust in the air while I was doing this. So uh, it's been pretty calm. Now I'll go work on my motorcycle to figure out why it won't run later. Well, it's a new day, next day. And uh, the first coat is dried and cured, so it's got a little bit of, um, it brings up the uh, hairs of the wood, so we're going to lightly sand it. And then give it a good wipe down, and do it again. So uh, let me go ahead and finish this and we'll come back and I'm going to be somewhat, somewhat delayed because my, uh, my goddamn T-Max uh, decided yesterday as I wanted to go out riding the first 70 degree weather of the year and uh, it wouldn't start. So you want to rubber down good. 
all the way around underneath over and then we've I've already folded over the uh, sandpaper and went down in between here just lightly just to knock down the hairs that raise up but you still want to uh, fish your rag down in there and wipe it all up get all the dust out also gives you also gives you a good chance to figure out where there might be some rough spots that maybe need a little bit more sanding so once I get this done I'll break out the uh, bar varnish and give it another coat. Uh, I won't uh, show you that, so you know, it's pretty much the same thing. We'll come back when it's done. Another little FYI is to get rid of the dusting, the dusty cleaning cloth and, and get brand new cloths to, to uh, touch up with. I also put a little bit of tape around the bristles so some of these little shorter strands, because these cheap brushes uh, keep them from getting all fuzzed up. But also the, uh, the finish has one coat on it, so the wood is not going to be as porous, so it's going to go farther. So uh, watch for runs. It's going to be really critical, especially down in these little, um, as you're brushing down in here uh, on these sides, you're going to get the uh, washout, you know, drip and scraping from the brush on these sharp edges. So really watch your runs underneath and just do a little bit. So. Probably what I'm going to do is I'm going around and do the holes first and then I'll come underneath as I do along the section and do the bottom with the residue that drips out. So, One of the other things you want to do is sight down low and then just kind of look along the surface and you'll be able to, especially with these cheap brushes, you'll be able to, you'll find mainly uh, spots that you haven't done but you'll also find the hairs coming off the brush and this tape has helped somewhat and I had a few but I've got most of them off or I think I've got all of them off and also go around and do the do a drip check it's setting up pretty quick so it's warm enough now so uh, It's drying quickly, so it's not dripping as bad. And I'll take, now that i got the little Milwaukee Triangle, I'll go ahead and give this a good sand once we're upside down. And then on the inside, too. I haven't sanded the inside yet for the paint, but that'll be coming up pretty quick. Uh, this is going to set tonight, and then I'll give it a light sand on the surface. Tomorrow with a third coat, I may give it a fourth coat to see how thick it looks on the, with three. And then uh, we'll put, I'll put the screws in, the stainless screws, through the rails, get that all done. Then I can start sanding on the inside uh, all the tape, the selvage around the tape that I put in. And um, then we'll prime it, and paint it, and flip it over and work on the bottom. And pretty much getting close to being done. Uh, I should work on the plans and get them posted because there really isn't much more to do. I want to, uh, I want to take a wait right now, uh, but I want to, uh, I'm going to wait until I get the paint on. I'd almost, uh, uh, I want to get the, uh, the glass cloth and at least put the glass cloth in the boat when I'm painting or weighing it to see what it's going to be, but it's, it's, I can't see anything now. It's, it's not, doesn't weigh much. So I'm happy about that. So we'll come back. Well, we're going to put on our third coat now, and I'm going to use, I'm going to try a foam brush. I've gotten, I've had good results with the little, little cheapo uh, bristle brushes, but I'm going to try a foam. It says, uh, I've had good luck with a foam on epoxy, so I'm going to see how it does with the, uh, with the uh, spar varnish. So let me uh, set up here, and uh, we'll, we'll get into this. I just gave it another light sanding. Uh, it's fairly smooth, and... Uh, taking on the, you know it's getting build thickness now so this I'll probably do four coats I'll this will be the third and I'll probably do one last one with a brush or if this is really working well then I might get another foam brush depends on whether I get a lot of bubbles I may throw this in away after I start so we'll see well I have to say I'm liking this this brush I'm not leaving any hairs behind and it really fits great down in this gap in here so and it seems to be leaving behind uh, 
good finish with no bubbles. That was my biggest concern. Got my uh, new sea dog. This is the polypropylene. We'll all, when I get done with drilling this, I'll do a little close up on this one and another one I got. So I got it screwed down tight and I want it horizontal and I've got uh, the screw hole here uh, on the center line. So I'll go ahead and drill one screw and drill one hole and put in a screw. Just finished sanding, and I just got the, done uh, uh, vacuuming up. I find these little uh, you know, wife probably never uses them. Well, I don't have one of those, but uh, I know she doesn't use this. But uh, these tend to uh, work really good on the end of your vacuum for getting dust out of the boat. And uh, so I got it all wiped down. Her, you know, now I will wipe it down. And uh, I got four coats of. Uh, shiny stuff on the rails now. They look real pretty. And uh, looks like a, a thick coat. I got a friend of mine that rebuilds old uh, uh, old town uh, wood skin or wood canvas canoes. And uh, Bill puts, you know, I was talking to him about uh, varnishing rails and stuff. And he says, oh yeah, I put 16 coats on. Yeah, yeah, all right, okay. I don't have that much time, so. So we're gonna come, next thing is gonna be uh, a painting. I'm going to start out with a primer and then uh, put on a coat, uh, two coats of uh, a good latex, maybe three. Get good coverage, see how it goes. Uh, I'm going to try for a light gray, but I may go with a flat white. Uh, I went with a gray usually just to keep the uh, reflection down from the sun, uh, keep from blinding you. Uh, I think maybe when I get the white, I'll see if the paint girl will add a little bit of, uh, you know, black or whatever makes gray to, to darken it up a little bit so it'd be a light gray so we'll come back um, 